aklu riba wa aklu mali liyatim to consume usury and interest to consume it sometimes you may have an amount of interest in your account because of the financial system that you might be living in depending on what environment what country you are in and what the laws are etc you take that amount and you give it away to the poor muslims no problem but it's not your amount you don't eat it you don't eat it aklu riba to eat that is wrong to consume that is considered minal mubiqat from among that which is very dangerous for you sinful it will cause some downfall of yours in this world and the next and what is worse let's not talk about bank accounts only we talk about people who are wealthy they give their money to someone and they tell them i need back with 20% more you say but isn't that interest no it's a profit what type of a profit is this they will call it any name but it is still interest unless they are willing to participate in your business and share the loss if any then we are talking business otherwise let's learn from our scholars and we have many scholars here in nigeria let's learn from our scholars the details let's continue to learn because the financial markets and the laws of economics have changed over time and they are continuing to change with different types of currencies and so on we need to be up to date knowing what's right and wrong from those who have knowledge of that if you were to ask me certain things i will tell you brother i have not specialized in that field let's find a scholar who has specialized in the field who knows current day markets who will be able to talk to you as an economist and explain to you logically and properly what allah allows and what he does not allow Sometimes you go to a person who doesn't really know about international markets. They will make everything haram for you and it will become impossible to live. And then you might go to someone who's not really bothered about Islamic rules and they will say, brother, just eat. La hawla wa la quwata illa billah. We need a balance. We need someone who knows and someone who can teach us and guide us. So it's important to participate in the lessons of this nature that happen not only in this masjid, but I'm sure in many other circles of knowledge.